Welcome to the Three Sam's Car of the Year Awards 2021. These are the top contenders this year. Wow, this car is smart. It's stopping by itself. This feels like a big car, but it steers like a sporty car. New quality, look at the carbon fibre. So smooth, so responsive, so quick. This is the future. Tesla is fast. This screen is so big. Feels like I'm driving a supercar. And it's quite unbelievable. Now it's time for the verdict. Are you ready? The second run-up with 273 points. BMW iX3. The run-up with 300 points. The Tesla Model 3 Performance. And now, the car of the year 2021. With 314 points, the Audi e-tron GT. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christopher Tan. I'm one of the judges of this year's event. And this is my co-judge, Mr. To Yong Chuan. Thanks, Chris. I'm happy to be here to help you. And I'm Zaihan Muhammad Yusuf. Who is he? What is he doing here? <laughs> That's Zai, better known as Biker Boy. Well, he's been with us for the last couple of years. He's here to ask us a few questions. Ah, it's fine. Zai, you have time for three questions. Please fire away. My first question. Why is a $600,000 car the Straits Times Car of the Year? And what relevance does it have to the masses? Good question. The ST Car of the Year is about audaciousness, about excellence, not about affordability. It has to raise the bar, it's aspirational, inspirational. In that regard, the Audi e tron GT fits the bill in more ways than one. It's a worthy contender. The Tesla Model 3 is not exactly a new car. Why is it even here? Is it because our judges have shares in the company? Wait, I can take umbrage with that, but I won't. The Model 3 was launched internationally in 2017, but it landed here only this year through official channels. And as you can see, it is totally a worthy contender of the car of the year. Final question, how many people can fit into the Straits Times car of the year? It can fit five unique individuals at any one time. And that's a wrap. Now, a few words from our winner. <laughs>